Mr. Beast dropped another one, another one, another one. We built a school. <laughs> You're a great man, Mr. Beast. You're a great man. <laughs> this school in Cameroon has extremely dilapidated and hazardous classrooms. No running water or electricity, and only a single toilet shared by over 3,000 kids and staff daily. And what's even worse is That's despite crazy. the school's mission to empower young girls and provide them a safe haven from domestic abuse and other challenging conditions, many children cannot enroll because of overcrowding and deteriorating conditions. So, in this video, we're going to rebuild this school from this to this this to this and this to this to give these kids a better opportunity at life we started out by sending dan and darren there a few months ago to see how we could help upon their arrival they met with francis an extraordinary man who has dedicated his life to combat i'm not gonna lie his shirt says bru i mean if you don't know like some bros that's how they that's how they say bro and Bruh. suffering in cameroon he is the founder of CDBTA. And that was so irrelevant. I'm sorry. I love what they're doing. Organization right now. that helps build wealth, facilitates solar power installations, and aids the development of education throughout Cameroon. When we first visited the school, what we saw of those children were actually under conditions of lack of sanitation. Some of them were abused. They had no right to raise their voice. They could not speak for themselves. These conditions had no dignity. These conditions would not make a child believe that the future is bright. The kids that are in the school are sitting in classrooms that are literally made out of scrap wood. I've been shooting in one of these classrooms for five minutes and my face is literally dripping with sweat. I can't imagine what it must be like to sit in here for an hour long lesson and learn. The environment is first of all dirty, that is dust all over. We don't have ceiling bugs. The state of these classrooms is tragic for many reasons, but mainly because this school is on the border of the English and French parts of Cameroon, making it a rare junction point between two populations in ongoing conflict. This school could help unite these communities. Many people have moved from the English part and they settled in this area. This school became a safe place for them to come and get educated here. But because of the poorly built infrastructure, rain leaks through the roof in winter, there is no electricity and the school was beyond maximum capacity. Once we saw this, we knew we had to do something, so almost immediately... The team quickly got to work to completely transform this school and surprise the kids before they got back from their school break. And before the kids returned from their holidays, Darren and Dan went to visit their brand new classrooms. Darren and I looked at the new structures which have airflow, they have lights, they have electricity. I can't wait to see the look on the kids' faces, the teachers' faces. It's beautiful, bro. I just got back from work. I had to go. So I had to pause mid-react. I'm not dedicated, I guess when they get to see the new classrooms, also the new bathrooms. The school is going to transform thousands and thousands of lives in the future. The next day, it was finally time to surprise the kids. There's a whole bunch of people outside the school. This is really exciting. The school was the busiest it had ever been with Kids Beyond excited to get a glimpse of the brand new classrooms. I just got out of the car. There's a whole bunch of people over here to welcome me. This is a little bit crazy. The headmaster then led Darren to the new classrooms where he would officially cut the ribbon and declare the new school open. When the environment is beautiful, academics move positively. Just the happiness motivates them psychologically to study and study well. In interacting with these kids over here, I realize that these are children that have a thirst to learn, and providing them the opportunity to realize that is probably the best legacy that we'll leave behind in this community. I can't imagine the impact this will have on the lives of children in this school. Thank you. Thank you and thank you very much indeed.
Before I show you an unexpected surprise the community has unexpected. Darren, I want to tell you about the amazing oh. sponsor of this video, Electric E-bikes. They're back on board and support this will forever be a great ad it's like they never just run out or not run out i mean they're just they're gonna make them i don't know i don't even know what to say bro that's a good ad good <clears throat> i'm pushing buttons it's not working there we our mission with their affordable eco-friendly and fun to ride bikes Time and time again, they have shown their dedication to a global impact by helping us rebuild an orphanage, donating yep. thousands of yep. shoes to kids in South Africa, and distributing millions of clothes worldwide. Additionally, they helped us power an island in Colombia, a children's sanctuary in Zambia, and give away hundreds of electric bikes all across the globe. And now, for the eighth time this year, they stepped up and helped us build this school in Cameroon. So I just want to give a heartfelt thank you to Electric E-Bikes for their continuous support. Let's get back to the video. Now it is time for Darren's surprise. Okay. So the village leaders took him to a ceremonial hut and dressed him up in local attire. He then took part in a traditional Cameroonian induction as a village elder. I'm sorry. This is tradition, but I think one of my just I don't like really is you know somebody just doing a little spit in front of me like I just can't do it is it, you know A all I gotta say W is it W tradition tradition W I'm glad I'm not the one doing it though. I'm not gonna. I mean, I would be honored. <laughs> I've just been honored as a chief in the village. Now that Darren had. That's W. Finally become a chief, it was time to say goodbye to Cameroon and these kids. We can't wait to come back That's soon to visit. By watching I've this become video, chief. you helped us generate some ad revenue so we could continue to do philanthropic projects all around the world. And you've told the YouTube algorithm you like the video, so they'll recommend it to more people. And for that, we are very grateful. And if you want to continue to support Francis in the many communities he helps throughout Cameroon, you can donate directly to his charity using the donate button or the link in the description. All the proceeds will go to Francis and CDVTA so they can continue to help build a better future for these children. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. It's so crazy. Yeah. Just like a thought. That's like a, of course. It's like, I don't know. You see Mr. Beast's face. You're like, you can't really imagine anyone else with the name Mr. Beast. Like, look, look, look at his face. It will be, it'll feel weird if you're thinking about somebody else's. Like, I mean, that's how life is and whatnot. I mean, who knows if his name of another I'm yapping, I'm yapping, I'm yapping, yapping, yap. 